Thank you. First of all, it's the greatest honor I ever had, I believe, since I've had this job a little bit to get stand up here. And he said, I want to thank all my family. So I guess I'm part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, Y'all two are elected officials from Valdez and, and Lowndes County. Now, y'all all, uh, we'll just uh, thank you in the chamber. Uh, I want to say a quick word to y'all uh, just to kick this off. First of all, uh, I'm thankful this is the second time in just a matter of a month that we've had to come, get, had a chance to come in y'all's community and, 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 cl and clip a ribbon together because that means jobs and it means economic activity and it's the vitality of this community which is always y'all always led you always have and you're known like, when, you, when, you, when you, your team comes together that makes a big difference there's a lot of communities mine uh, at the top of the list that i would dearly love to see uh the the challenges. I'm, 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 uh, the papers here, and they, I'll get in trouble saying this at home. But I want y'all to, I want y'all to hear this. I live in commerce. I was raised there. I live on the farm. I was raised on. We have three school systems. I know y'all got a couple of schools, but still, we, we have three school systems in Jackson County. We have communities that sometimes don't even talk to each other, and it's a real strain on the county. We have a good chamber, but it's still, uh, as long as one to one year, I think. Uh, Back in the early 20s, there's a guy from Commerce, Dr. Hardman, and another guy in the, in Jefferson that, that, that ran for governor, and Dr. Hardman beat him by about 100 votes. And then all of a sudden, people across the county quit talking to one another. Now we have people move in from Gwinnett County, and they don't talk to votes, but they don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it's a, it sometimes is a challenge in our community. That's not to say Val Austin and Lowndes County don't have challenges of your own, but uh, Y'all come together, and that, that's something I've always admired, and your chamber's always been strong, and, and, and economic development has been a key part of this, but you you, you get agriculture, you get forestry, you understand that wealth is generated from manufacturing, wealth is generated from the land. Jo jobs come from the land, and, and it's uh, we, we can only service ourselves so far. Uh, we've got, somebody's got to make something, somebody's got to grow something in order for wealth to be generated for the economy and be able to move forward. And so that's why I want to celebrate with you. And I just thank local officials. Uh, well, let me start with the Corbett family. When we started Georgia Grown again and really began breathing life into it just a couple of years ago, uh, y'all being a community of first and being a championship community, uh, uh, who was first to become a part of Georgia Grown and get it kicked off? Uh, how about Ken Corbett and Corbett Farms? I said, we believe in this. We're going to be the first of you. They stepped up. Okay, when we talk about who's, 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 uh, who's going to be the first in a community to embrace this and move forward, who was it? It was Val Austin Lamb County. They said, we're going to be the first Georgia Grown community. And we're going we're gonna to use it. We're going to market our community around this. Thank you all. Don't, don't think that we didn't know, we, that we know, and other people are taking notice too. Other communities are saying, just like they've done for a long time, we better, uh, about us and Lowndes County are going to lead, I guess we better follow. We ought to be, we ought, and y'all set the pace, and I, we're so appreciative of that. Uh, but I want to wrap up here, because there's a, there's a word, another word that kind of gets used a lot in these circles this day. A lot of, a lot of people, it gets used in buildings, it gets used in uh, our food supply, it gets used with our energy supply. Everybody's an expert on sustainability. Y'all you know, heard that? We're going to be a sustainable community. We're going to be, we need more sustainable agriculture. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope, every, I hope it goes out across the paper and everywhere else. There is no greater picture of sustainability that a family that's been on the same land for generations and they're preparing for the next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, they do that because it's sustainable. They're able to make money from one, one generation to the next. This land is not dead. This land's alive. And when, when you see that, that you see the, the, bread, the, the, the next generation step up, it's a different kind of action. It's a little bit different. Jim mentioned J. Moore Farms. My, my daughter is the educational coordinator for J. Moore Farms. She's taught sixth, she's 
she's a, just finished her master's in at, uh, ag communications and journalism at Texas A&M. She came home, now she's an ag teacher, but she's not in the school system. She's had 6,000 first graders this fall. By the way, at $8 a piece, so y'all you know, figure that out. And, uh, it works pretty good. That's pretty good agriculture development, isn't it? And that's what they're going to do here. And so I tell you, it's just a, it's a great delight for us to be a part of this. And thank you for being believers in Georgia Grown. Thank you for leading. Thank you, community leaders, for leading and being a part of this. But uh, there is nothing more sustainable, ladies and gentlemen, than a farm family that passes land from generation to generation. And they do so, and they make a living doing it while being the premier environmental stewards uh, that anyone could ever hope for. So to that, the corporate family pass off. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you for supporting these folks. We'll